Hey everyone, today I wanted to talk a little bit about why are snakes so kind of controversial in general throughout really the United States, but kind of in the Western world in general. And I think there's a couple different reasons as to why snakes are really so controversial, why a lot of people just, they don't like them, you know, they're afraid or whatever that is. And we're just going to kind of go through them a little bit. And so the first one which I know a lot of people don't necessarily like, but I think there's a lot of credence to, is that it has a bit of a religious aspect to it. You know, they, they talked about, you know, in the Garden of Eden that there was that serpent or snake or whatever that, you know, kind of started off the whole thing with that whole fall from grace or whatever. And I think because of that, that just kind of held through through the generations, through all of kind of Western society in the United States, where it's just like something about snakes, like it's evil or icky or gross or something like that which is just kind of a little a little messed up. Like, they're obviously very beautiful, amazing animals that are much more intelligent than we give them credit to, than we give them credit for, as well as the fact that, you know, they play a very integral part of nature, you know. It's a single, a single snake can eat just dozens and dozens of rodents a year, which helps cut down on crops, which is better for everybody. It helps not only the ecosystem and everything like that, but also people as well. You know, if there's a rodent problem and they're eating crops, they're eating food, they're getting into stuff, contaminating things like that, then that's something that affects us. The next thing that I think is that, you know, they just kind of have had a bit of a bad rap in general, kind of throughout like the latter half of the 21st century, you know? Like the biggest thing, which is why I have Fiero here with us today, is the Burmese pythons down the Everglades. I know that's a big kind of like key hit word that everyone talks about, and I'm certainly not gonna take away from the fact that that is an issue there. They really should not be there. And to say whether or not that it's just a hurricane or just people just releasing willy-nilly their pets out into the wild, into the Everglades, I think it's a big combination of everything. However many are down there, it's a big wild thing back and forth, but the fact of the matter is they are there. It is an issue along with other uh, reptiles and other invasives and stuff like that too but the biggest one that everyone's really been focusing on for the last you know almost 20 years i think has been burmese pythons and snakes in general and so you know between that and you know venomous snakes which are always kind of scary to a lot of people or whatever man-eating snake that i think a lot of has to do with like the burmese pythons and stuff which is just a whole thing and then you know in hollywood depictions of snakes anaconda and stuff like that well, yes, everybody loves to see Ice Cube, don't get me wrong, some Ice Cube and J-Lo helps me get through the weekend, but it's not really a great accurate or even a fair representation of such large, beautiful animals. And so the last one is, and I'm trying to keep this quick, guys, I really promise, but the last one is, I think they're just so different from people. Human beings kind of have to do this thing where they imagine stuff like them. It's called personification or anthropomorphism. And that's a word that over the last like probably year, year and a half has gotten thrown around quite a bit in the reptile hobby, talking about how, you know, we want animals to have certain things because we think they need that or whatever that is. But the, there is good and bad anthropomorphism. And I think that's kind of the main thing is that snakes in general are hard to anthropomorphize. They're kind of hard to imagine the same things that we can imprint like that we can imprint on things like dogs cats uh monkeys even lizards they have faces they have legs they have blinking they have moving eyelids they have a little bit more expression to them and so with that we can empathize with those animals more than we can with the snake they don't have legs they don't have external ears they only have like the little holes that like lizards have you know, they don't have fingers, they don't even have eyelids, they can't blink. That forked tongue, I think it just messes with some people that just already, because of all the things that, in all honesty, society has kind of built snakes up to be villains, you know, it's hard for people to kind of get across that. And once you kind of sit there and learn more about these guys, which is really the entire reason why I started this channel to begin with, was number one, it gives me an outlet to talk to you guys all day long. But number two, it's to kind of spread the awareness and understanding of such amazing, beautiful animals. I love these guys to death. And I have watched over the past two or three years that I have slowly turned other people into, I don't want to say snake fanatics, but definitely enthusiasts. We'll go with that. And it's just, it always starts with a little bit of understanding, a little bit of kind of easing into things. And then slowly they start to, you know, learn a little bit more about it, 
kind of figure them out, understand them a little bit more, appreciate for them for what they are, then appreciate what they look like, how pretty they are, how cool they are, even to where they can see there and see that there are individuals. Snakes as a whole are just are just as varied as people are as far as personalities go. I really do think that, you know, it's not just the only good snake is a dead snake. That's just an awful thing to think about. So hopefully this gave you guys something to think about. Why do you think that snakes are so controversial? Like, did I hit everything like that? Is there something I'm forgetting? Is there a, like a bad experience that someone had that someone, you know, said to you guys? Like, human beings are only born with two fears when they're born. And that is the fear of falling because that's just a natural instinct and the fear of abrupt loud noises. Every other fear that human beings actually inherit and learn and develop are ones that we learn. We're not born with them. So that means we had to learn somewhere along the line to be scared of whatever that is. So what exactly, like, let me know down in the comments, like what happened, uh, just, do you know someone that was afraid of snakes? Were you afraid of snakes when you were little and you learned to get them? How did you get over that hump? Let me know down in the comments. Let me know if there's anything I forgot about. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys love seeing Fierro. I love taking him out. He's just such a derpy little boy. Although I don't know where his face is right now. But anyway, I hope you guys like this and I'll check you next time.